What's up you guys, it's Options Finance. Today I'm back again with another video and we're gonna go over a little bit of a time test with my gaming chair. So as some of you have seen, that was one of my best performing videos so far. A lot of people come now and then and still ask comments on the video if it's still good, how I like it. So I'm gonna go over everything, tell you what I still like about it and what I don't like as I've had it a little bit longer. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's start with what I don't enjoy. Starting off with the top, from the top to bottom, you may notice that I don't have the head cushion there. Now that was something that came with the chair. It's a little pillow that goes through your head. I didn't like that. I pretty much just took it off and threw it in my basement. Like I don't ever use it. I think that the chair is enough. And when I do have that pillow there, I find that my head is leaning too far forward than I would like. I don't really want to be like a slouch back. I did, just got rid of it. One other thing that I did notice that it's not really a negative. I never use this vibrating pillow. Like I really never use it. It's nice to have. I mean, it's definitely good to have. That's a plus and a negative. I don't really, I would call it just like neutral. Like I just, don't end up using it. That's just something to think about. I mean, if you think you're gonna use it, I mean, go ahead and buy it. And then as another con, I would say, is it's a little bit squeaky, if you kind of see. And here, I'll sit down. You lean back, you can kind of hear the squeak. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, unless you're like rocking back and forth in it and you're like making a lot of noise all the time. I, it doesn't really bother me, because I'm already just used to it, and I have my own room, so it's not like I'm in the middle of the living room and everyone has to hear the squeak every time I sit down, like I used to have, so it's not, not so bad. So let's go on to the positives. So on a positive note, the chair has held up really well. I don't have any rips. The only thing that's really come out of it is our family cat kind of getting in to it a little bit. But that's very light too, and I, she knows not to do that now, so it doesn't even, I don't even have any more from recently. Everything pretty much holds up. I mean, besides, there's one little thing that came off on the, on the right side of the armrest, just a little chunk, I guess I scratched it off. But that's, that's really it, and that just comes from wear. I mean, like I said, I've had it two plus years. So this chair has been around for a while, and it's really, it's just held up. Like I don't have any, any real downsides to it other than that one freaking pillow you can just get rid of. The adjuster, I actually use this quite a bit. Adjust the seat going back and forward. That's really held up, no problem. As long as you screw it in really good when you first assemble the chair, this thing's gonna hold together. And for $150, three years later, not that much wear and tear really, uh, knock on wood. That's pretty good in my opinion. Oh, another pro that I actually do use, which I didn't think I would, is this little, um, this little footrest that slides out and extends the little bottom part of your chair. It actually does come in handy if you want to just sit like this and kind of use your computer. It does a good job of, you know, giving you a little bit extra room and support. Do use it quite often. So yeah, I actually do use that. That's another pro of the chair is that function actually is good. And speak more on that pillow, like I said before, I don't plug it in and like use the vibrating part of it, but it does do a really good job of providing support for your lower back. And so if you're gonna be sitting down a lot during the day, your lower back really needs to be supported and it still needs to have that arch like you normally would if you were standing. So it does a good job of actually supporting your lower back, that's important. With lowering and raising the seat, there's no problem there. I'm able to easily raise it. But yeah, that, that still works after all this time. I rarely use it to raise the seat or lower the seat but it's still there and it still does work. You know, I still recommend this chair. If someone ever asks me, what chair do you have? I'll tell them this one, I'll give them a link. People that have bought it have said good things about it. People that you can check in the comments on the old video, I'll leave it linked below just in case you wanna check it. Like it, they still say good things, still say that they bought it, they, you know. I just figured I'd give everyone a little bit of a time update review because the one, the second video I made about it after the unboxing was maybe, uh, three months later. I've had this chair for a while. I figure why not? Anyway, with that all said, you guys, please leave a like on this video. It really does help me a lot. It gives this video an opportunity to be seen by other people who might find it useful. I'm also, in the future, gonna be doing a desk build. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it, but in the future, I will be doing something different with this desk. So if you're into desks or anything like that, I don't know, and you're just interested, hit, hit subscribe, and you'll see when that video goes live. Anyway, guys, Thanks again for watching and peace.